Uh, but yeah, let's get this started, man. We'll start with the motherfucking comments. And first, I also want to thank uh, Jose Trevino. No, this isn't Jose Trevino. This is Joku. Super Saiyan Joku sending me this on uh, Instagram, IG. That's a badass uh, uh, Goku. Uh, you found it online or what? Man, I have some drawings of some Dragon Ball drawings. I, I, I'm going to show you one day, Joku. I'll send it to you on IG. But I drew all of them, like all the family, all, all, all the Saiyans. Um, and uh, Vegeta, you know, his son, I mean, his son and his daughter, and I drew the, Goku's lineage too, all of them standing there. Uh, I don't know if I put Krillin. No, I didn't put Krillin. I just put them. No, I might have put Krillin. Because I think I, I don't even remember. I got to look for that drawing. But I even have Shenron in the background. It looks dope as fuck. Um, and Joku sends us this, and he says, uh, eating edibles all day. All day. This fucking guy must be fucking comatose by now. Ready to chill with one and only son of man. And the hashtag. Live. Uh, clan. At the underground broadcast. Cheers. Mother flowers. Hashtag smoke weed every day. Hashtag THC, hashtag Mary Jane, hashtag marijuana. Cheers. Hey, on the real, uh, this is a broadcast, not a podcast. So I'm sorry to say you ain't going to see this on fucking uh, Spotify. This is now a show. You got to see it with your eyes, motherfuckers. Uh, no more audio files and ass and shit. Uh, so that goes for you. Uh, sorry, Jose Trevino. You're gonna have to watch us during the week and shit. No more, no more. No podcast. No more listening to. You gotta see. You gotta see nowadays to believe. This is how it's gonna be from now on. Uh, but let's get started with the comments. Thank you, Joku, for sending me shit. If you all send me shit to my IGs or to my Twitters and all that shit, I will post your shit. Uh, I forgot. I haven't gotten like I said. I've been working on this for two weeks and I still forgot some shit. I have to get uh my, my new social medias and shit. If you're already subscribed to our old social medias, you, I mean, you don't even have to, you, you just change the name and the ads and everything just change, but you're already subscribed. Uh, but I'll put it next week for all you motherfuckers what it, what it is. I think it's at Underground Broadcast or some ass like that. I think Twitter didn't let me put it because it was too long. I had to just put Son of Man. I didn't want to put 666 because that's too evil. So I just put 665. Uh, but yeah, that's my Twitter handle. But I'll get you the handles uh, next week. Anyways, let's start with the motherfucking comments. Uh, we're gonna start with the one, the only, number one Canuck in this channel, Indie Phantom. Let me hit it for this asshole. I just realized Indie Phantom's here. Cheers, Indie. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for all you motherfuckers being here, uh, chilling on a Friday night. On uh, the teaser, the first teaser I put on Sunday, he puts, Aw, oh, yeah, channel getting a makeover. Yeah, yeah, I got a new song and everything. I didn't know I was going to be able to pull a song. I, 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 you know what I did? I went through all my old folders, and I was peeking around looking for old beats, and because I used to produce other artists. Uh, I used to produce a couple guys who rapped and uh, and this other chick who sang. Uh, you guys, if you, you listen to some of the music of Melly May, uh, and so I was looking for beats. I was like, no, but I don't. I don't think I have it in me to do music anymore. I mean, I lost. I lost the music in me a few years back. I just, it just left. Um, but I, 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 I was like, I don't know if I could come up with a new beat and shit. And uh, the last two beats were kind of recycled. That I was just old shit. I never finished, and I just fucking uh, put them together. Like the first channel i did was i heart spoilers and that was a beat for a song i had done uh on love not i love that beat and then on this one was a beat that i never recorded anything on uh for the dudes and this one i, I couldn't find a beat that satisfied me but you know going through all my old folders and listening to all these assholes old songs and shit uh i started reminiscing man remembering a lot of shit when we were young and in in our fucking early 20s and shit and uh we chased the dream you know we just a bunch of kids i remember i used to stay at a fucking oh man it was a crack motel i was paying per night uh, i was paying like 15 bucks a, a day or something like that 15 20 a day 
So I would just, as long as I worked every day and I paid the fine, I would get to stay another day. But it was pretty, pretty much a crack motel, a whore motel. And I was staying there. And these motherfuckers, after, after you know, being at the bar or whatever, they'd come over and it was just one room. It was a motel. It's a motel. It's just one fucking room, you know. And they come over and I have the mic there and everything. They start recording. That's when we started, man. When we were young and shit. Uh, that's when we were starting. Uh, but and you're listening to all that shit inspired me. And I actually pulled this fucking new beat. Uh, this new uh, thing out of my ass, and I'm pr- I was pretty happy, man. I, I don't know, I just I got some inspiration, just uh, reminiscing uh, about old times and shit. Uh, so yeah, that's how I came up with the under. I don't even know what I was gonna call the channel, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna call it. Uh, but you know, I was doing the beat and shit, and and, and I started thinking, and then all of a sudden, it just came out out of my mouth straight from the underground, and I was like, oh, that sounds so sick, coming straight. I was like, all right, that's what it's going to be called. The Underground Broadcast, bitches. Uh, so cheers. That's how it all is. That's how it gets started. You know, everything's by, by accident. But, you know, that's how the best things are made. Cheers, Indy Phantom. Thank you for being the first one to comment on that. Osa Trevino. He comments also on the same day. He puts dark. Yeah. The beat came out super dark because... Uh, I think I, I, I just come out of a dark place, you know, the fucking channel died and shit. Uh, and I'm going through some stuff in, in life and I just really like, it's just dark. I was just in a dark place. I still, I think I still am, you know, I'm crawling out of the dark right now. I've been crawling in the dark, looking for the answers. Who's that? Who's that? Who must stay? Motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Anyways. Uh, cheers, Joe Trevino. Thank you for that comment. We love you. Uh, oh, this fucking Satanist Rocco fuck my life. Let me hit it for this asshole. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco, uh, he puts, holy shit. We're getting teases on Super Bowl Sunday. I can't wait. Hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. We're on top of some of that today and shit. Uh, cheers, Rocco. Thank you for commenting. You guys are badasses. All of you guys. Uh, I can't express how uh, good it felt because I didn't think I was going to read comments. I think at today's show, I was like, no, I mean, they're going to mean nothing. So I'm just going to go straight into it. Be a, maybe an hour and a half, two hour show. I was thinking in my head. Um, but no. You guys commented, and like I said, man, most of the time, I used to say, I used to say it even back then, uh, we wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for you guys, because sometimes there wouldn't be news. I would tell, I would tell, he who should not be named, I used to tell he who should not be named, that's the way we're going to refer to that asshole from now on. I used to tell him, uh, hey, like, there, there's nothing to talk about, we got very few subjects and shit, and then it's like, fuck, and I'm like, but then you guys would comment, like, especially on, like, the last day on Thursday or Friday, a bunch of comments would pop out suddenly, I'm like, assholes, and I'd be like, shit, man, like, it's okay, because of re- reading comments, you guys make it about an hour and shit, just reading comments, and I appreciate you guys, you make you make the show and shit, and I think we, uh, I, I, get, I get real buzzed and shit, I started drinking a little bit before, because I'm, I'm a little nervous doing this by myself, I'm not gonna lie and shit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Gomer, every time you put the Canadian flag on the fucking, on the feed over here, it says caca. That means, ah, I mean, that means shit. Just so you know. <laughs> I know, you, I know it's supposed to be a Canadian flag, but for whatever fucking reason, it don't come out on my screen. It just, just comes out C-A-C-A-C-A. <laughs> uh, but anyways, cheers, Rocco. Cheers, Gomer, Indy, you motherfuckers down there in the chat. Another thing, since, uh, there ain't nobody here to fucking, uh, 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 Get a second opinion. I'll be reading y'all's comments if y'all comments. Remember, there is a 12 second delay on the live feed. I'm sorry that I don't have Google Fiber, but over here where I live in the hood, AT&T is scared to come and work here even during the day. People get shot and shit. Uh, so I don't think we're ever going to get Google Fiber over here in this neighborhood. So I got to deal with this ass that we got. It is what it is. 12 second delay on your comments. Either way, I'll still respond. Uh, and, you know, if it's relating to the topic we're talking about. Uh, but let's move on from Rocco. Cheers, Rocco. Mm. The trumpets will sound. This fucking racist, orange-haired motherfucker. Let me let me hit it for this asshole. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. 
They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. All right. Uh, let me uh, have something special for you. I know he who should not be named was the one who used to do all the voices and shit. And, uh, and he did one hell of a good fucking Trump, uh, among others. I, I'll give him that and shit. Uh, but I know I'm not good at Trump. This is the best I can do. And it, it is not that good. <laughs> I sound like a fucking idiot. Uh, but I did something special. God bless this day and age. This new age we live in. Technology and lies and AI. So, we actually have the real Donald Trump here to read this comment. Here we go, guys. Uh, this is what the Trumpets will sound wrote down uh, for, for uh, a couple of days, four days ago. Here we go. What the fuck? I just noticed these were dropping very eerie. Uh, yeah, yeah. This I try to make it scary, especially the 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 teasers what i did is uh, i i took the beat and i got the the scare the sounds in the middle of the song and i put them by themselves i mean they're in the song but i put them by themselves and it's all super creepy and shit uh so yeah 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 i hope you like that trumpets and shit uh that i got your voice on there <laughs> cheers trumpets will sound you crazy motherfucker all right oh shit uh I know who this is. Canceled for life. Yeah, I memorized it already because that other asshole hasn't commented in a while. The fucking, uh, the QAnon guy. This is canceled for, 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 for life. I got a sample just of for life so I can use that and shit. Uh, but let me hit it for this guy because I'm pretty sure I have one for him. Here we go. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever tried to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three <laughs> things that a black man can't get? A black guy, a fat lip, and a job. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. That's a fucking funny, uh, funny shit part. Uh, I think it was a Bernie Mac movie that came from with Ashton Kutcher. He's dating his black daughter. That's hilarious. Uh, anyways, canceled for lies says. This better not be some Jonathan Davis nightmare before Christmas BS, son. Cheers. Hashtag. I mean, it is a little bit Jonathan Davis because that motherfucker's Mexican. I don't know. You all knew. Um, yeah, yeah, the, I think the mom's Mexican. Ugh, the other little brother, he was in another, he was in another band called Adima. That guy uses his Mexican name. Uh, but yeah, they're Mexican. That's why they dress like cholos. Oh, what was his name? Fo, Fo, Feli, Foley? You know, the, the guy with the bass? I don't even remember what his name was, but that guy was for sure Mexican. And then, uh, Head and Monkey would dress like cholos, uh, not because they were Mexican, but because they probably the same neighborhood and shit. All they saw were motherfuckers dressed like that and shit. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cheers, uh, cancel for life, motherfucker. And and it's always life. That's right. Doesn't matter how many times this channel changes and shit. It'll always be that. <laughs> nah, nah. This whole this will be the last time it changes. You know, unless all of a sudden uh, Melody Mac joins her channel, then we're going to have to change it. And uh, yeah, it'll be like a Christian channel all of a sudden. Get ready for that. Indeed. Anyways. Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Uh, on the, finally, the reveal of the song. I decided to just put the song on Thursday. So give you a little, get your little pussies wet and shit. What's coming? Uh, and he says, nice, son. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're here, man. We're here. Uh, it might suck by myself, uh, but we're here. We're not quitting. We're keeping it going. We don't give a fuck. All right? Because we're not quitters. All right? We commit to something. We do it. We put the effort in. Who gives a shit? And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because, like I said, this channel is just about chilling, hanging out on a Friday night, drinking, and smoking. 
and forgetting all of life's bullshit that you just went through the whole week. And you're going to have to go through it again because I work tomorrow. Just like everyone else. Fucking slaves. Anyways, cheers. Jose Trevino. We love you. All right, let's see who else is next. Oh, the fucking trumpets will sound again. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm not going to hit it for you. But luckily, like I said, we live in a day and age where I can do this. So here is his comment, people. Get ready. The underground broadcast. Hmm, I like it. And the American people will like it. Cheers to the son of man and his new era of broadcasting. I hope this remains a woke channel, son. The people demand it. Cheers, son. And cheers to the woke pack. Hashtag woke pack for life. Oh, that sounded too good, man. That's scary and shit. You know damn well this is always going to be a woke channel, motherfucker. For, 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 for life. Cheers, Trumpets. We appreciate your shit. And uh, Trumpets, I'm going to let you hear no in case you didn't know. But uh, Gomer, let you know. Mr. President, give him hell. This fall, cheers. Trump 2024. There you go. You got a supporter already voting for you. Cheers. Uh, all right. Uh, next, we got the one and only Doug Unfunny. Let me hit it for this guy. Woke as fuck. And uh, Doug on Funny, he says on the uh, on, on the on the reveal for the song, that cartoon of you is creepy as fuck, son. Reminds me of Evil Eddie from back in the day. Cheers. Hashtag. Evil Eddie, man. I remember that. I think that was, um, sorry about that. I think that was, um, I want to say Image. No, I don't think it might have been Image Comics at one point, but I want to say, I think it was Chaos. I think it was called Chaos because I have, um, uh, I have, oh, some of the first Purgatory comic books. I don't know if y'all know what Purgatory was. Purgatory was a sexy as fuck Egyptian vampire. Uh, she was like, you know, she was an Egyptian woman. Sex, they drew her with big titties, nice ass. She looked like this chick I, I fucked once. Um, reminded me of, of, and I didn't know her back then, but now that I think about it, it I still had to go look at that comic book again. But she was kind of a lesbian because she would fucking always fuck chicks and shit. In the comic book, she would fuck chicks. I was a little boy buying these and shit in, in middle school. Um, but she would turn into a vampire because she was an ancient vampire. So she's human and then turned into her vampire form. And her vampire form actually looked like a like the she devil, you know, the red she devil with the horns and the tail, but she had wings, uh, and that's what she looked like. Her name was Purgatory. Uh, it was badass. She would fight like Egyptian demons and and, and shit like that. Uh, but they, I, I, there wasn't that many issues. I think it got canceled because uh, she was just too damn sexy. And there was a lot. There's, a, I mean, I have like three comic books, and there's a lot of sex in it between lesbians. It's badass uh, for a comic book to be doing that. Uh, yeah, it's badass. Evil Eddie, I remember that. Um, yeah, this drawing, I drew it. Uh, I animated it there with the smoke and all that ass. Uh, and I put a Carnage shirt on it. I kind of wish I had a shirt that's kind of like that. Uh, I, Carnage is a badass character. I've always liked Carnage uh, more than Venom. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. I, I think it took me back. I was trying to figure out who Evil Eddie was. Uh, and I remembered. Um, he also reminds me of um, Evil Eddie. Always reminded me of the one from Iron Maiden, uh, just because it's the grin. I think it's the grin, you know. And when I made the grin for this one, I was all like, "It looks fucking creepy as fuck with with me smiling like that." So that's why I did that and shit. All right. Uh, oh shit, Colin Larson, he's back, y'all. This is one of the new motherfuckers. Uh, he put, I don't know, man. Seems like the type of place you better go to be prepared with your rape whistle. <laughs> Cheers! That's badass. Mm. Let me give you the DJ horn for that, Colin. <laughs> and for that, Colin, I'm going to actually fucking toast a new beer for you, man. Let me just dry it here because I just took it out of my ice chest. There. 
Cheers, Colin. Brand new, cold as fuck beer out of the ice chest. Mmm. It's good when it's cold. It feels good going down your throat. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, Colin. Yeah, I wanted it to look scary and, 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 and creepy and shit. Because that's when I started doing the song. I was got to be creepy and scary. And I had different alleys and, and, and backgrounds for alleys and shit. You know, I was trying to find like maybe like there was going to be like a, a homeless in the background or something. But when I found this 8-bit bit, bit uh, thing, uh, I just fell in love with it. Uh, let me see if I can. I'll show it to you guys real quick. I fell in love with it. And I, I just wanted to use it and shit. Uh, hopefully we don't get copywritten for this ass. You know how you know how it is nowadays. But anyways, uh, thank you, Colin. You keep this up. I'm gonna have to make an intro for you. Uh, straight up. Uh, I apologize right away to fucking Andres Sanchez from the Philippines. I still don't have your intro, bro. I think I have an idea. Like I said, I downloaded a bunch of sounds and, and shit, but I haven't found like. Uh, I, don't know, it's, 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 I haven't I haven't gotten to that 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 you know there it is yet so I'm still fucking around with it uh, and plus I was doing all of this for for tonight uh, so I, it did take a lot of time and I didn't really have time to do your intro yet uh, but keep it up calling you too uh, you keep it up commenting showing up whatever the fuck uh, you, you might be a woke pack member soon I mean I made Andres Sanchez a woke pack member from the Philippines and shit let us know where you're from uh, Larson uh, you know. Obviously, you're American. You look American, <laughs> or Australian, or white. You could be Britain, for all I know. <laughs> South African. Uh, but either way, man, we love you on this channel. Thank you for commenting. Cheers. All right, let's keep going. Oh shit! This misogynist asshole's back. No, ma'am. Let me hit it for this guy. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. He says, uh, the underground bar broadcast. Let's go. Hashtag. Live. Cheers. No, ma'am. Thank you. Broadcast. Broadcast. All right. No, did not a podcast anymore. I don't know if you read the intro. It doesn't say this is a, a podcast anymore. This is program. All right. Get it straight. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else is next. Uh, DJ New Kid. It's been a while since I've seen this guy too and shit. He says, "Uh, this looks dope, man. I'm good at digital art. Let me know if you want anything." I've seen DJ New Kid on the live a few times. DJ New Kid, keep 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 this up. I'm, I might make you a fucking uh a, a, a Wolfpack member. Uh, he's got a gorilla and shit on his shit. That's cool. You do digital art and shit. Um, I wanted this whole channel because I was so mad and so disappointed and heartbroken and, and et cetera, et cetera, that I, I just really wanted to 100% put my stamp on this. Because you know, when I did the other channel, even though uh, he who should, who should not be named didn't do any of the graphics, I still consulted with him and asked him and shit. And, uh, and he would pick stuff. Like, I would give him, hey, what do you think of this or this? This or that? And then he would say this one. And this and that. Or change this. Or whatever. So I really wanted to make this my own and shit. And, uh, and I went for it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's why I didn't, you know, because uh, I know the cunt has done the shirts for us. I appreciate you cunt a million times. And then uh, Ad 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 Adeline uh, from Instagram that I met, she did the, the past logo that we used for one month. And we paid for, uh, so yeah, you know, and that's cool that you do it and all, but I really wanted to, I really wanted to just 100% go all in on this. I said, fuck it, man. Like I'm not doing anything else and shit. So I might as well. So here it is. Oh, thank you, DJ new kid. I will keep you in mind if anything else comes up and shit. Cheers to y'all. I'm so fucking stoned, the cunt says. Gomer, you don't have to apologize ever. Never forget that. Uh, I had a had a teacher once who told me something that no adult has ever said to me. I did something wrong, of course. You know, you kid, you're a kid, whatever. You fuck up and the teacher gets mad. And of course, instinct, human instinct, you say you're sorry. 
And he looked at me. He says, don't ever say you're sorry. Just don't do it again. He goes, that's how you really apologize. By not doing it again. You don't have to say you're sorry. I was like, I love this man. <laughs> the great Vernon is what I called him. Vernon, Vernon, but I called him the great Vernon. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a white dude. Uh, very conservative. But he was smart as fuck. Uh, I think one of the... Man, that guy, man. That guy would say the best things to me that no adult ever said. Not even my parents would ever say shit like this to me, man. That's why I think that guy always stayed in my head because of that. I remember one time he told me, he goes, I look at you. I look at the rest of your classmates. He goes, and sometimes you stay away from them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, because you're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> I didn't tell him that, but I was like, yeah, they're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> and he says, but you know what I know is that like, I give you something you do and you focus. Everyone's fucking around. You focus and you do it. Or whatever you do, like, you put 100% into it. And while everyone else is fucking around. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Like, tell me something I don't know, asshole. Uh, but he told me, he told me, I know that it doesn't matter what you do. He goes, you're always going to put 100% into it. And it's like, and you're, you're going to succeed in it. He goes, even if you don't get big or anything. And he goes, you'll be good at what you do. And he goes, because that's the type of person you are. Uh, and, and that, I was just like, man, like, you know, like, yeah, I don't want to be a dick to my parents and shit, but they never said anything like that to me. And I'm like, this guy notices that, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I was a little OCD. I used to tell myself because I am a little uh, OCD where it's like, I start and, and I like uh, smoking weed because I just like focus and I get into a zone and then I'm just, doing it before you know it like an hour an hour and a half two hours have gone by and shit and that's all i've been doing um but you know that's the zone the zone what i i i call it when you get in the zone and shit i think i i have that ability to just start putting my whole mind into it and get lost and ignore everything else and i think that man i think he saw it in me and he would tell me because i was really quick man and that was a he's a theater arts teacher the guy, they would give us scripts to, to memorize because, you know, you got to go up there in front of an audience and all that ass. Uh, like that, I would memorize it and shit. Well, everyone else is still, we're practicing, and everybody's still holding their, their pussies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody knew I smoked weed and fucked off. But anyways, I was still, I was still really good at memorizing that shit. Uh... Cheers, DJ New Kid. I went on the trail. The other thing is, uh, I had it. Obviously, I work all day, so I just started drinking about maybe an hour ago, and uh, and I just this has been probably my first uh, fucking weed cigarette. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You know what it is. Uh, Go Mercado on the uh, on, on the. Well, I guess there's no videos. Just go out of comments and shit. Uh, he says, "Cheers." <laughs> To the woke pack and cheers to the underground broadcast is what he meant, folks. <laughs> and cheers to woke son. Uh, I was thinking of putting like uh, it's because I haven't I haven't found it and shit, but I want to put a rainbow that just opens up and then like a little fairy or something that falls by, Bling! like Tinkerbell and shit, like from the Disney. Probably get copywritten for that ass, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but this took a lot of fucking work. Y'all don't even know how long this took, man. Uh, I hope y'all like how it looks. I hope you don't think it's too much. There's too much clutter and shit. Uh, but yeah, I did my best. Uh, cheers, Gomer Kyle. Love you guys. You guys are the best. Oh. Eddie Molina Vilches, this motherfucker, I'd miss this guy, but he puts up, uh, I'm ready, my brown skis, I can't wait to see, we're here, bro, Vilches, thank you for coming back, or at least, you know, I know you've always been watching, but thank you for coming, you know, I thought you were dead, motherfucker, I've been trying to give you, I've been trying to give you gifts every Christmas for the past three years, you dick, 
Uh, you better show up this year around November so I can get your info and send you something. Son of a bitch. Cheers. It says you're the shit. I might get you a, eventually get you an intro if you, if you actually respond. <laughs> Cheers. Super Saiyan Joku. He says, yes. New podcast. Same asshole. I'm there. Cheers. Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Joe Koo. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, all of you guys, for being here tonight and shit. Uh, uh, hope I don't embarrass myself later on, but we'll see how that goes. Cheers. Oh, shit. Let me see if this is the last comment. I think it might be the last comment, but let me check. Yeah, yeah, it's the last comment. But it's none other than the yellowest crew member in the woke pack robert Iger. let me hit it for this asian son of a bitch konnichiwa and robo says uh hey son are those two indian men arguing at the beginning i knew you weren't mexican you freaking punjabi cheers Hashtag. Live. Fucking Robo, you fucking dick. Um, you know what? That's the one race I've never been mistaken for. Indian. I've been mistaken for Native American. I've been uh, mistaken for Cuban. Puerto Rican. Egyptian, Saudi Arabian, Iraqi, um, and for some strange reason, one time, Greek. Do Greek people look like me? Ah, what the fuck? That was the weirdest. This man thought I was Greece from Greece or Greek. That was came out of nowhere. But I've never been confused for an Indian uh, or Pakistan or whatever. I don't know, Punjabi's covers a, a, a whole region. It's not just Indians. Uh, but you know what? It's because I think they're just darker, man. They're darker than me. I'm I'm just tan, you know. I think Indians are 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 slightly darker than than than, than what I am, but lighter than blacks for sure. Uh, but yeah, no, I've never been uh, until right now. You're calling me a Punjabi, so bitch. I might be, I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit of a pirate when it comes to online shit. Uh, VPN, motherfucker, Windscribe VPN, you know what it is. Uh, <laughs> you're, a, you're a Vietnam off, you're a Vermana flyer, son. What is a Vermana flyer? Uh, I don't know so much. I mean, I started reading a little bit of, uh, uh, what's his name? The blue guy? Lord, uh. I don't even remember his name. Did you see? I'm so fucking high. I don't know. I started reading it and I stopped. Because I'm fucking high and drunk nowadays. Uh, at least I got to read the Bible five times and the Quran twice. Uh, I was starting to read the Vedas. I was reading about... um, oh, fuck. I don't even... I don't. I want to say Shiva, but it is Shiva. Shiva was the blue one. The beautiful one. That's what I was reading about. I think it is Shiva. Um, yeah. Vermanas, oh yeah, the ancient uh, Indian UFOs, the the tri the the ones that look like cities. They don't even look like UFOs. They look like flying cities, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. Uh, now I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> cheers, cheers, y'all. I appreciate you guys. Uh, but I don't think I look Indian. Come on, y'all. Uh, I'm not dark enough. Uh, my nose is too big too. I think they have they have better looking noses than me. I am jealous of that. I'll tell you that. I like my skin tone. My skin tone's just right. It's not like it's like a it's like a brownish, like a sand color, you know. Like not like blind, like like a beach sand and shit. But oh well. I ain't white. I'll tell you that, motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyways, uh Cheers to you all. I appreciate you all for fucking commenting. Like I said, uh, you guys pretty much make the show. Welcome back. 
Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.